So we're going to be factoring sums and differences of cubes, just lots of examples. So we see we have two terms. They're both perfect cubes. Uh, x cubed is x cubed. 2 cubed is 8. And then we're going to square, flip, multiply, and square. So square this first guy, flip the sign, multiply the two together, square the last. Notice that last one is always positive because we're squaring it. So that's that. If you were to foil this out, you would get that. It's the reason behind the sign flip there is because some stuff has got to cancel out in order to make that small expression. I'm going to do it again. Two terms. It's a... Uh, they're both, hmm, no they're not. Let's make this a 27. Now they're both perfect cubes. Um, cube root of this is 3x, cube root of that is minus 4. Then we're going to square, so 9x squared, flip the sign, plus, multiply them together, 12x, square the last, plus 16. And that's good to go. Uh, Another um, difference of perfect cubes. So cube root of this is 5x squared. Cube root of that is y cubed. Then we're going to square. So 25x to the fourth. Flip. Multiply. 5x squared, y cubed. Square the last. Plus y of the sixth. This last guy here. Another sum of cubes. Note it can be the sum or the difference of cubes. We're not restricted like we are in uh, the difference of squares. You can add or subtract these guys. So cube root of that is x, cube root of that is 1. Notice the first guy always takes the same sign as the original. And then you're going to square, x squared, flip the sign, multiply them together, square the last. So that's, that's that. Um, so notice, again, the last guy is always positive because we're squaring it. Um, you might wonder, can you factor this part here more? And you, um, as long as this part here was factored as far as it could be to begin with, this part will never factor more. Um, you can prove that later, but um, you can take my word for it now. If you tried to factor that, it just would not work. Um, that's that.